So at the very beginning, it was simply something I was doing alone two times a day. I just wanted to get better. And then it definitely became more of a community event where it was the time to hang out with your friends because all of us were wanting to skate. So it definitely became something where it was more of a hangout. And then we turned it into competitions and Chattanooga started to put these large competitions together, which was really cool. And now it's become more of a type of therapy, I'd say. I put a big ramp in my backyard and now I skate alone and I have friends over as well. Yes, it's terrifying. It's so scary, but it's also exhilarating and so much fun. And it's different on concrete than it is at the park here. There's obviously some sections that have concrete, but it's mostly ramp where it's wood and it cushions you and you can just slide on down. But there's some parks where you're on concrete and it's a whole different ball game. It's more intense and fast in a different way and it hurts a lot more than you thought. But it's awesome. <laughs> I was doing a trick, an easy 180, and if I didn't have my helmet, I would have been in trouble because my friend distracted me and she, she said, do a 360. And I got confused midair, you know? So these distractions, I mean, it's it's difficult. And yeah, I fell bad. And even at the skate park, doing some major tricks, if you just see someone doing something in the corner of your eye, and um, it, it can mess you up. And so it's, it's definitely a sport where you have to be focused. And that's why it's important to wear gear because you can fall really hard. Don't give up. If you, just start out skating you get a pair of skates and you're even in your living room and you're falling and feel wobbly just don't give up because again you i've seen people that i would i thought they were going to give up and they didn't and they've surprised me and the things that i see them doing i mean 180s on these gaps and big jumps now like even stalling on a four foot ramp i never thought they would be able to drop in and it's just simply because they stuck to it and didn't give up is the reason that they're doing that and they're crushing it.